Okay, we're gonna do lesson 13-7, whole numbers as fractions. The most important thing you have to remember with this lesson is that when we write a fraction, it's division, right? We can do 49 divided by seven, 49 divided by seven, or 49 divided by seven, okay? So you need to remember that fractions are division. So we can, If we have like whole number one, we say that's four fourths, right? What is four divided by four? Whole number one, okay? But what if, okay, so I have one pizza divided into four equal parts, right? What if I have two pizzas divided into four equal parts? I still have four equal parts, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. That equals two whole pizzas, and eight divided by four is two, okay? So let's take a look here. Um, I also, well, look, okay. So you can write a whole number as a fraction by writing the whole number as the numerator and one as the denominator. So remember that the numerator is the number above the fraction bar and the denominator is the number below the fraction bar. So write whole number five as a fraction. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's say I have five whole pizzas, right? I have five whole pizzas. I didn't cut them at all. So each pizza is in one whole part, okay? And I have five of those whole parts. So while this looks really strange, it actually is not, okay? So, and what is five divided by one? Five, okay? So you have five whole parts. So this means I didn't divide each part into anything. It's still one whole part and I have five of them, so I have five wholes, okay? Think of it as division. Five divided by one is five. So write five as a fraction. The whole number is five, so we're gonna write it as the numerator, and our denominator is one, okay? So let's keep the, complete the number line showing fourths. So we have one fourth, two fourths, see our fraction line with the four down below? Three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and eight fourths, okay? So we want to write one as a fraction with a denominator of four. So if we want it to equal one, right? Here's our one. We have to write four fourths because that's going to equal one, four divided by four. They want us to write this whole number one. This whole number two, they want us to write that as a fraction with a denominator of four which means we have eight fourths and eight divided by four equals two. So let's complete the number line showing eights. Okay, I want you to pause it and I want you to do it just like we did before. Paying attention to whole number one is, this should be eight eights. Whole number two should be 16 eighths by the time you get there because 16 divided by eight is two. So pause it and fill that in. Oops, yeah, one, eight, two, three. Okay, so write one as a fraction, that means it's going to equal one, with a denominator of eight. So denominator is eight. We want the numerator to be eight because eight divided by eight equals one. Write two as a fraction with a denominator of eight. So go ahead and do that right there. It needs to equal whole number two when you're done. The denominator needs to be eight, so how many eights? What divided by eight equals 16? Oops, I gave you the answer. What divided by eight equals two? All right, write two equivalent fractions for three. You can draw a number line to help. Now we want it to equal three. 
okay? So something divided by something equals three, and something divided by something equals three. So you need to write a fraction for it to equal three. So let's say we're going to operate in thirds, right? We're gonna have, so ask yourself what number divided by three equals three? Or three times three equals what? It'd be nine, right? And we also want this to equal three. And so you're coming up with a division problem that equals three. So pause it, see if you can do that. You can have two at the bottom, you can have five at the bottom. So you can do six halves, six divided by two equals three. So it, there's many, many different combinations, but this number times that number should equal that number, or this divided by that equals that. Now you could draw a number line here and let me just show you that because I know it is a little confusing. Don't worry that it's confusing. This is just an introduction to it. We'll do the actual lesson tomorrow, but let's, con let's do thirds, okay? We have zero, one, two, three. We want whole number three, right? So if this is thirds, if each section is third, we're gonna draw two lines. So this is zero, so this is one third, two thirds, three thirds, which is right, that's where we should be at one, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, right? That's gonna be at two, six divided by three is two. Seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds. You see how nine divided by three is three, okay? Oh, excuse me. So, and what we're saying here is we have three pizzas. We're gonna divide each one of them into thirds. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I have nine thirds, I have three whole pizzas. Okay, so see if you can do the same for the halves, show me six halves equals three. Pause it and come back. Okay, I want oh, halves. I want two parts that equals one line in between. Oh, I didn't go all the way to three. Okay. Okay. Two parts, one line. So this is one half, two halves, which two divided by two equals one, so we're on track there. Three halves, four halves, four divided by two equals two, five halves, and six halves. Oops. So six halves is equal to three, just like that. What that means is, again, I have three pizzas. I divide each one into half. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six halves, which equals three whole pizzas. Two halves equal one, two halves equal one, two halves equal one. Two plus two plus two, six. All right, well done. Nice job, see you tomorrow.